For the Cathonians, greetings. Hello, how y'all doing? Hello. Hopefully that was not awkward. Um. Um. Yeah. Hold on. Who? Who all is here? Who all is here? At least that I can see. Adam. I see Adam. And here is Beelzebub. Let me get a sip of coffee. All right. So, how is everyone? How is everyone's week been? Hope y'all had fun, enjoyed yourselves. I had a pretty good-ish week. Um, I recently just found out that I could make uh, like alerts in. Mm -hmm. Alerts using like uh street uh not stream alerts. Um using sound alerts for like new followers, new subscribers, and all that other stuff. And um at first I was like irritated that I did not realize that I could do this sooner, but then I was like, oh no, I, then someone in uh, my di the Discord mentioned that was only after a few, um, you reach certain follower threshold. And to be fair, I think I had already passed that threshold, but uh, I did try do incorporating uh, sound alerts like a long while ago, before I had all these followers, so... I mean, that makes sense. That explains it. That explains it. Oh, excuse me. Hope folks had a um had a very enjoyable Valentine's Saint Valentine's Day. Yesterday Rune had her graduation, which was very sad. Though apparently she's gonna be like um she is like in with a company or something. I don't really understand fully, but she'll return. But under a different identity, so it's kind of happy, bittersweet, as one might say. Have I, yeah, I, I think that was it. Um, ba ba ba. Oh, okay. Um. Oh yeah, I. Okay. After reviewing Monday's uh, stream footage, I'm very. <laughs> I'm a bit irritated with myself that I just reacted that way to the room of Brian's and some other stuff. I'm like, on uh, looking back, it was pretty tame. <clears throat> but uh, if, considering there were some other like content in the rest of the video, uh, the VOD, a uh, friend of mine, associate or moderator. I think they're also a moderator, though they don't really show up and stream enough times to actually moderate chat. But basically they said it should be good so long as they said it to me sure. So yeah. Um, what else? What else? Uh, yesterday I made uh, dump, uh, chicken dumplings and pea soup. Uh, the, apparently the peas... The dried peas were like processed weird because they did not cook, rehydrate, soften up, or cook correctly, apparently. They're still crunchy despite cooking them for like three hours at, at this point. Like two, maybe three hours. I may have also messed up a little bit, but yeah, they should have been cooked by now. 
Eh, very irritated. Okay, let's... <clears throat> Let me get... Um, Vortex... Mod Manager... I don't know if I can, like, if I have to go open the game through Vortex for the Mod Manager, or if I can just open it through just regularly uh, clicking the, uh, the, the shortcut. Oh yeah, if I ever, um, considering that the soundtrack that is now my BGM is from Might Magic 7, if I did manage to get Might Magic 7 to work, um, uh, which, which, because, um, Might Magic 7 has a dual path system, where at a certain point you have to make a choice, you have to make a decision. Which faction do you side with? The, um... Uh, the evil necromancers of the pit, or the good wizards of Celestia. I think that's what they're called. Celestia? Celeste? Oh yeah, anyway. So basically it's like a good evil alignment system. <laughs> Honestly, you don't really do a whole lot of evil in the evil side. Most evil thing you do things you do is assassinate someone for the rogue mission for the assassin promotion quest and you all and uh, and then also what they want to build what the uh, evil the dark side people want to do like their ultimate goal and to be fair I don't think it's technically evil Um, there's like a lot of, ah, actually, never mind. I decided to check out Babylon 5 again. Uh, when I was little, my parents, well, not, we weren't like terribly into it, my uncle was. And to be, um, up until a certain point, he basically lived with me and with my uh, parents and me and my siblings, my little sister. So, yeah, uh, yeah. Uncle had a, like a big impact on like Yan me. Yeah, uh, he he was into Babylon Five. Yeah, like uh, Babylon Five to uh, figurines, like uh, merchandise and all that stuff. And so I just I just decided to check out Babylon Five. You know. I think it was because, uh, you know that, that, uh, used media store that I talked about on Twitter? There were, um, like, the complete seasons, season collections of Babylon 5. I think there was season one, maybe, maybe like season two or th there was definitely the third season. I don't know if it was like one and three or two and three. Actually, they might have just been... Yeah. Sorry, moving my chair. Moving my chair. Changing position. Okay, so I decided to look up, like, um, Babylon 5. Um, uh, just the plot. A summary of the plot. Apparently, the Vorlon, which were like these. They're not like robot like, organic robot creatures, but they're, like, beings of pure light that inhabit these, like, organic-looking robot 
shells. Um, apparently they're not like I, just, I as a as a small child, a small child. I hold on. Let me let me let me start the the game first. So, as a small child, um, um, I was under the impression because the Vorlon were created, out, like, made of pure, like, light and energy, I assumed that meant they were good guys. Like, they are the good people. And, like, the shadow people were just evil. Because I had a child, like, brain. I, I only saw, like... Simple concept, as in good and evil. Um, and also I had, like, references such as uh, Star Wars and stuff to look look at. Oh, hold on. There we go. Let's put that in stuff. So, yeah. But, um, so the Vorlon represent pure order, but also, like, unquestioning obedience. While the shadow, the shadow people, represent chaos and just strife and turmoil. And just con and evolution. Just constant evolution. And, uh, it's also a form of enslavement or whatever. But you have to... Uh, hold on. No, uh, so both the shadow people and the Vorlon are bad. Why is, why is my, why is this, okay, okay, I don't know, okay, oh, the level Stupid. Sorry, my cursor was being was visible. Okay, I think I might have messed up with, like, one of the VOD, uh, not the VOD, mods. Fucking stupid, hold on, shit, I have to, I'm gonna put, hold on, I mean, I don't want to sync Discord. What? Yo, what, is, how are you doing? Can I interest you in some of my wares? Okay, so I installed a mod that gives you um, samurai weapons and armor. Boken. That's Boken. Bow. That's a bow staff. That's like Japanese weapons and armor. And you can get them from Slash and Smash. But for some reason, for some reason the, it, the mod changed the name. Somehow, for some reason, I have no clue. Anyway, we don't have the monies to get there. So what we want to do, what I want to do is head to, oh, we have a level up. Oh, that can wait, that can wait. Oh yeah, we should probably sell- I should probably sell some stuff. Tertullian? I offer the finest goods and lowest prices in all Syria. Alright. Don't talk 
Remarkable. You... That's really funny. Remark... That's... Where'd you... What nonsense. That... Every little bit... That's right. Exactly. What All right. can I interest you in? Now, let's see if we can handle with you. An excellent bomb. Necklace. Um. Cape of the Dawn. Copper ring. Oh, gold ring. Oh, let's keep that. I'm gonna enchant that for a lot more. Probably. Huntsman. Why do I have a Huntsman leather pants? An excellent bargain. A fun. That's a fair deal. Okay, let's. Excellent. You've made a good bit of. That's a fair deal. A good. Yeah, I think we can. Yeah, we can. Oh, hello. Salomon Gianet. I'm a musician. I had a commission from the Emperor to compose, but now, with the Emperor dead, every... soon the Elder Council must choose a new Emperor, and then I suppose they'll sort out my commission. Aww. Sorry. Seeing you. Sorry to hear that guy. Antus Vannon. I spent 40 years at the Arcane University. Good years, but I don't miss it. Now I'm completely useless. Oh. Okay. Take care. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's a very weird thing to be proud of. Alright, let's go to way. Oh, she waited away, a rest. Okay, let's go. What is this? Hey, you. You need something special? Good that you want to get better. Can I interest you in some of my wares? Shield of the tower, feather shoes. Feather shoes? That's a good deal. Thank you. Walk always in the shadow of Sithis. Sithis? Okay, I'm not. I'm not. Oh, I'm not oh those look nice. Alright, let's go. So, what we have to do is go to Bruma. Oh, 
fine as well. Anyway, so wishing well. I really wish you could like use wells. Just summer bullet camp camp. Yeah. Just What is this? Morning glory. I think we have more. Oh my gosh, do you? Okay, so this is this, this, um, like, garden idea. I think I saw, uh, someone draw this, but, um, which is where I got the idea. But, you know those, like, kind of semi-realistic Halloween skeletons, where it looks like an actual skeleton? What would you think of having morning glories grow through the ribs and the spine and just bones and stuff of a one of those skeletons? Maybe ma have it made out of wood or something? That'd be freaking cool. Metal as fuck. Very metal. Very awesome, in my opinion. It's just a thought. You can completely disregard it. If you think it's stupid. But I think it's pretty cool. It's a cool idea. Let's see. Yep, we're heading. Should be like some sort of... Yeah, there's like a little path here. A little path. Let's see where you lead us. There's an alien thing, an alien well, which we have no use for because we do not have the need to replenish our mana, magicka. Sorry, I, I keep uh, thinking in I think World of Warcraft terms. There's also, I guess, magic the god. Tragic the Garnering. Fort Empire. Let's go to Fort Empire. See what the Fort of the Empire has to say. Let's go. Fort Empire. Okay. Orf with their head. Oh. Some sort of offering. Ooh. Very nice. Base amulet of reflection. I forgot the capes, uh, this particular cape, one, need, like, a certain type of cape for, um, so you can wear both an amulet and the cape, which is kind of a little, a little, a little bullshitty, but I guess you have to make, do that in order to make it work. They don't, like, have separate slots for back and back. Actually, I think they do. But for some reason, they have... Let's see. Let's see. Um... Old Lenore. And call that more imps. Ah! Oh, 
Okay. Hello, can you kill Sean Bean? I can provide a health magic potion. Or you can just do that. Uh, barracks. Go to the barracks. What horrors is this imperial? Fortress have. More. Oh, shit. Troll. Troll. I got a cave troll with him. Actually, I don't think in the book they specifically say there's a troll. There we go. All that for a measly 17 gold. You will take it because in this economy you have to take what you can get. Mm hmm. Alright. Ooh, we increased the alteration skill. Okay, there is. Hello. More of you. Short sword of diminishing. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot they're immortal. They are all tagged as essential. Which is pretty funny, in my opinion. Okay. Fort. Okay. We just back. Back. Oh. Go. Go fuck them up. Go fuck them up. I will take this elixir of restore personality and that. Go. Alright, so that was Fort Empire. Very boring fort, to be honest. Not really... Oh, wait, hang on. There we go. Wow. 
What is with all these like locked chests having gold? But the the regular ones, like unlocked ones, have all the cool loot and stuff. It's kind of unrealistic. You'd think you'd wanna you'd um uh lock up your cool loot. Your cool shit, right? This just goes nowhere. Absolutely nowhere. Oh, hey. Mushrooms. Let's continue our journeys. Hold on, let me. Uh, Alright. Alright, then. Let us continue our journeys. I was like someone who really. Oh, I know. They like Kate from Fallout 4. Like, I love this fucking Irish woman. I will, I want to make her happy, so I'm like, I like Yuri, Yuri is awesome. I really hate that you couldn't like romance old blonde villa like as an option, it was just like, people th assume Ah, uh, he's 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 an old like sailor man. No one no one's gonna be interested in him. I'm like, ah, okay. Wait, where? Okay. Oh, is, is this guy gonna tell me I need to choose between my money and my life? Hello, sheeple. Hello. Hi there. Hello, friend. Stay a while and watch the sheep with me. I'm uncle. I say, live and let live. It was an unfortunate accident, and he helped make it. Others in the village are not so forgiving, though. I don't blame him for keeping to himself. Hey. Bye. All right, so we'll just watch the sheep. Oh yeah, Ails, Ails, Ails well, Ails well that ends well, as one might say. Oh. Go ahead, please. My favorite town, Anvil. Lovely old stone building. Okay. Be seeing you. Okay. That's where. What is it? Hush. It is your room for the night. All right, let's see. Speed. Think. Willpower and intelligence. No, personality. Personality, definitely. There we go. Greetings to you. You really enjoy this whole hero thing, don't you? Try combining aloe vera... Goodbye. Okay. You wrecked. How dare you sell me so cheap? Nobody calls me that without some cheese. I really want to watch that one show 
uh, like in the original Japanese because I have only seen it in like the dubbed version and apparently they localized it in a way so that the jokes would make sense even to a um, to someone who is not fluent in Japanese culture. And I want to I want to know what exactly they changed and what they like uh stay kept the same. Mm -hmm. Not to mention, uh, when it aired on Toonami, they removed a, several scenes. Because in, in order to allow it to run on Toonami, because the scenes would have given it a more adult rating. I'm talking about bo 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 What is this? Oh shit. Who are like... Dang, I should learn how to damage... Um, damage speed as like a spell. That would be cool. Talos, bless me. Talos, bless you. You bless you. <sighs> what else do I you know the, the hold on, are you no oh, even is in chat it's Adam unhinged feels above okay Out of out of out of here. We found the thief stone. Oh, cool. Oh my gosh, you can change the birth, your birth sign. That's cool. Either that, or you can change. Just get temporarily get the powers associated with it. Talos, bless me. Watch the flank. Thank you. Talos, bless you. Kid, I got two words of advice for you. Get up on the hydra's back. I really want to want to stream that kid, but I'm worried about Dizzy just being like crazy with it. Like being all like, how dare you stream? Oh, thank you, Baron Scott, for the posture check reading. Correct my posture. Mm. You're welcome. No problem. To be fair, it was more I was um, stretching a bit and oh, bandit. Not on this day. Talos, bless me. It was more that I was, uh, oh, shit. Uh, stretching a little bit, but stretching kind of that particular area helps with posture. Hello. Oh, shit. Shit, I accidentally 
I'm sorry, I hit, uh, I hit the Messiah. Or at least this game's version of the Messiah. <laughs> that would be funny in like, uh, like a... <laughs> it's like... No, oh, never mind. It, it's... Be stupid. It's like... Okay, not not really the Messiah, but like the last best hope for Tamriel. The chosen, the chosen one. That's it. Also, yeah, I, I would, I really would like to be able to play and stream Kingdom Hearts. But I am worried about Disney being like, How dare you stream? That's our intellectual properties. How dare you? As I already know that they just, like, mute... Hello, Baker's Way. They just mute any, like, Star Wars music that they see when I, when I stream KOTOR 2 without completely muting the music. So, hold on, is there a inn that I could go to? Go ahead, please. Mud crabs. What's the point? Goodbye. Is there an inn? Is there an inn? Is there an inn that I could go to? Nope. So, house. Our house. In the middle of our house. <clears throat> okay, there we go. Good evening. What do you want? It's said that eating tap root can bring you good luck. Oh, cool. Goodbye. Yes? Farewell. Okay. What can I... You too. Um, is this just like anyone can sleep in here? Oh, okay, it is. It's literally a flop house. And that is basically what a flop house is. It's just a place where there are beds and you can just fall in if you Gelman fall in to the beds. Maybe there is a charge, but it's like pretty cheap. It's like a very cheap charge. Uh like hey. Normally they are found in like um uh either in the poorer districts of a town or city or like near places of high uh, traffic like docks docks or stables or whatever it's like most of them are are paying stuff I don't know all right, let's let's get back on the road. Nope. Let's get back to the road. We got distracted. Well, I got distracted more more likely. Oh yeah, Baron, have you ever heard of the show Babylon Five? I'm watching just AFK, sorry. Oh, okay. Understandable. I... Oh, okay. Alright, I just, like, um... When I bought Ghost in the Shell and, uh... On VHS and Galaxy Angel, um... Season 1 on DVD, I noticed in that, uh, used media shop... 
it, it's it calls itself a bookstore, but they also sell. They have a section for um, movies, DVDs, uh, video games, some like older video games and stuff, um, music, vinyl records, and all that jazz, stands and jazz. But um, among the DVDs, like there's the anime and manga section, and then right next to it is like the start of the DVDs, and right next to the and uh, the DVD section, the anime DVD section, uh, was like three or four uh, s complete seasons for um, Babylon Five, and what? Hi, Bim. Here's Beelzebub. How you doing? Oh, a timber wolf. I was here earlier, but I had to buy bread again. It's bullshit. Oh, yeah. By having to buy bread a second time is very irritating. I feel kind of badly. That's fine. Oh, hey. Chain boots. Hang on. Let me... Shit. Okay, I just realized I would not be able to... Let me see. Batch hero. Grass. Babylon 5 is not bad. It is very good. From what I remember, it was a very good show. It's like... It's more like it's the one who... Me and the one who ends up buying bread is boring. Well, I mean... Depends. Do you just go to the grocery store or do you go do you have like a bakery? So if you like go to a bakery This can be buying bread can be pretty enjoyable. Especially if they have like um other bread stuff to purchase. Imperial City Ruma. That is where men are men and women are women. But also, men can be women, women can be men. It is a very free country. People enjoy their freedom in Bruma. And don't like Imperials butting into their business. In about 200 years time, the, the province of Skyrim will eventually get so sick and tired of the em Empire butting into their business that they'll start a whole ass civil war. It's going to be the dumbest and most boring civil war ever to be conceived in video game history but it's gonna be pretty but people are gonna mod it to make it look nice <laughs> eh. originally the uh skyrim civil war was gonna be more grander and more like complex but the game design the like the writer or something was like like, they, they assumed that the players were going to be too stupid or would lose interest if it didn't, like, if there was a way for them to... Skyrim has an area of five, 15 square miles with a population of 800 people. What do you mean, five, 15 square miles? What you talking about? What you talking about, Willis? What is that even from? Some of the lines that I say... And repeat are ones that I have just repeated. Hanman's house. We got the Fighters Guild. Bruma Fighters Guild. We got the Bruma Mages Guild. Why am I talking in this accent? Skyrim is a small province. What do you mean, small? Oh, okay. I mean, to be fair, uh, Morrowind is a lot bigger. Morrowind is also a pretty well, big Matt. game. Hail. Hail, Hail, dude. Edla Darkheart. If you. I am not interested in sh in shooting in shooting the breeze. Hello. Skjorda, Nordwinds. We've got clothes and armor, and I've got a headache. <laughs> Make it quick. You can't scare. Oh, I goodness. What can I say? 
What a gr- Oh, is- Please, I'm in- Really? Ugh. Is that so? Really now? You're such a charmer. Get a- Remark- You're wasting- I'll take- What? Mm. See? For me? Can't do better than that. What can I interest you in? All right. Um, what was I talking about? Um... Oh, counselor's hood. Um... Yeah, um, I originally, I live in, the country I live in is third. 314 square miles. Skyrim can fit in my country almost 20 times, lol. You're talking about... Let me ask... Oh god. Wait, hold on. Do you live in America or Mexico? Mexico. I'm just curious. I, I, I think you live in... Like, area. Oh, county! Almost thought you said country. County. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. My my bad. I, I misread that. I was like, wait, hold on. Let me. Okay. County. Um. Wow. That it. Hey. Thank you for your. Okay. Hang on. Let me. Let me see. How does this look? Ooh, very nice. Oh, nice. Hi. Well met. Only quality goods for sale here. What can I interest you in? A fine transaction. That seems a fair price. A fine transaction. A good price for a good customer. Okay. A Rumors. Did you hear about break? Yes. Apparently. Okay. We drink because we're happy. We're Nords. It's just the thick tongue and fat head the day after that makes me unhappy. <laughs> <laughs> I like him. Bye. I'm Ulfen. The light armor trainer. Skurda and I run Nord Winds. Please excuse us. We had a little drink up last night. <laughs> it's okay. All right. <laughs> you can't. That's not really interesting. I wish I could. Oh, that. Don't waste your. Is that so? That's it. Don't wait. Really? That's just talk. What not? I wish I could. They <laughs> say that's really funny. Not now. I wish I could say. Oh, that's great. <laughs> that's really too much. Well done. Oh, that's great. I don't. Oh, please. I wish I could say that. You're waste. That don't waste your flattery on me. Rim. They say not. <laughs> you can't scare me. Really? They say that's really. F I don't. <laughs> you can't scare me. Oh, that don't waste. Really? Is that so? All, All right. right. I get it. Go. Can I interest you in some of my wares? And uh, Dondorans, Juggernaut, Hair Hammer. Let's. Hold on, let's, let's try it all with them. Hmm. Very interesting. Okay, um... You dry. You got a great deal there. Thanks for your business. Rumors. Hey, you're the one they. Ruma. 
Just like Skyrim, except for all the tight-ass heartlanders around. All work and chapel. No wonder they're so sour. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Babylon 5. So, I decided to look in and see if there was ever a Babylon 5 video game. And I found out that there was one. It was in development uh, around 1999, but like months after, before it was supposed to release, the studio ha just like had a shifting around with like various departments and the game was canceled and the entire team was fired. It's, it's, it's very sad that that same like that same situation is keeps happening happened back then and it happens stuff like that happens now our games like literally almost finished like pretty much completed but then the studio something happens with the studio and it's, it's like canceled and folks are like fired and hit put out of a job very sad very sad, very frustrating. Also, it looked pretty awesome, from what I understand. People, I think, managed to get a hold of the raw video game and managed to cobble at least some working beta or something. I don't, I don't know. The link went to a site that basically my computer was like, "Hey, um, do you really want to go here?" So I'm like. Okay, so it's possible this site might have a virus. Or maybe it wasn't. I, I don't know. Probably not. I, I might be misrepresenting. Spare a coin. I'm only asking. Yeah. Thank you. Whoa, whoa. Your voice suddenly got. Blessings of Mistara upon you. Okay, thank you. Oh, yeah, this is a reference. That is a reference to uh, Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, don't even need to. Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. Hand to hand. Hand to hand. Fist. You talk with my fist. There it all means. I will answer with my fist. And she put in a sucker punch of the guy. And very awkward CGI. Oh, well, Wayne and Priory Horse. Wayne and Priory Horse. Where is. Well met. Oh, do you think you'll wait? Hello. Oh, no. Okay. Alright, let's go. You know that the um, horses in Skyrim are called Clyde Stale, are basically called. No, no, I don't think they're... Are they Clydesdales? Eh. Oh yeah, if I do get a better PC, I will want to stream with Skyrim. Because even though I... I kind of hate, dislike the game and have to mod it so much in order for it to actually be an RPG rather than a uh, fantasy D&D themed first person shooter, looter shooter type of game. It is pretty fun. Unfortunately, my PC does not like streaming it. Oh, yeah. Alright, we're going to Cloud Rula Temple. 
almost said Sky Haven Temple. That that is a different game. That is, is a different game. You have to you have to do a blood sacrifice to open up a a dude's head. Open the door. Open the door, you you piece of shit. Open the door. Grandmaster. Come on, I'm gonna save. Yep. Come on. Is this? God, God, God! Someone's being attacked. Carry and strike. Carry and strike. A little close. I just thought that would be funny. Yes. Cyrus, this is the Emperor's son, Martin Septim. <laughs> completely derail his Welcome speech because I just wanted to punch this random guy. Visit in many yes. What can I do? The Emperor. Stay. Ah. Well, thank you. The honor is mine. Come, your blade. Yo, I I have a TV camera. I am. I achieved. I, I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mess around with the console too much. Blades, dark times are upon us. The emperor and. Sorry. There is yet hope. Here is Martin Septim. Oh shit, I can't I can't just Your Highness, the blades are at your command. You will be safe here until you can take up your throne. All of you. I know you will expect me to be But this is all new to me. I'm not used to giving speeches, but I, I wanted you to know that I appreciate your welcome here. Thanks. I hope I prove myself worthy of your loyalty in the coming days. That's it. Thank you. Cool. Well then, thank you, Martin. Oh shit, hang on. We'd all best get back to our duties, eh, Captain? Ma'am? Not much of a speech, was it? The blades, so I don't mean to sound, but everyone expects me. They want an em We gotta get the amp amulet back, dude. Of course. The amulet of kings. So we, I, can take it to the temple of the one. And then you become the emperor. The emperor? <laughs> That's an idea that will take some getting used to. In any case, Amulet of All practitioners of Daedric magic are familiar with the almost impenetrable barrier between our world and oblivion. What the Emperor told you implies that the amulet is the key to the preservation of that barrier. 
It holds the blood Princess of Kavash. Prince Elysia. Everything I Prince, know about uh, no, magic Queen Elysia. Such Queen Elysia was impossible. turned into the amulet if of those kings. Gates to oblivion existed. The old rules no longer apply. Kavach is only the beginning. Yep. If the I haven't always been a priest. I know more than. Something has changed. Joffrey, but. Alright then. Don't worry about me, my friend. Geoffrey. I know I'm in good hands. Geoffrey. Geoffrey. Oh shit, there's a. Okay, whatever that hit, uh, um, person that bolt hits, it ain't my problem. You have proven yourself a loyal servant of the Empire, as worthy as any of the Blades to stand by Martin's side during this crisis. Mm -hmm. As the Grand Master of the Blades, I would be honored to accept... Mm, what are my duties as a Blade? The Blades are sworn to the service of the Emperor. Sorry now. Very well. Yeah, I'm BRB.
Okay, I'm back. Oh yeah, uh, so, um, I just remembered that Pippa, uh, did a stream where she tried that Soylent stuff, and I am very, very disappointed there was no, uh, I don't think there was, what, was there a joke where they said, it's made from people? It's literally when I, when I found out about that someone someone made a, a product, a food product called Soylent. I was like, do, did this person not know the movie? Did they not know of the movie? People are gonna think you're, your vegetarian, vegan uh, soy product is made from people, which to be fair, I, I, I don't know. I'm, I, I think I might have to ask a vegan um, if eating people is vegan. Soy reference? Soy Jack? No, 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 it's Soylent. It's called Soylent. But there is a movie called Soylent Green where, uh, the, like, the, the main character finds out that they are taking the elderly or people who have, like, voluntarily chosen to, uh, end their lives, like, through euthanasia and stuff, and have ground them up into powder and basically turned them into this, like, meal supplement drink or meal supplement, like, thing, objects. And he basically tells people, Soylent Green is made from people! Like, that, that is literally, like... I'm like, how, how do you na name... Your food product, Soylent, and expect people to not think you're grinding people up into into this and mixing them into this. Just, I'm I'm just saying from from a person whose stepdad loved quoting various movies, and one of them was Soylent Green. Um, uh, just like, and just, you know, <laughs> see, yeah, Soylent Green, it, it's made for people. Why would you name your meal supplement, your vegan meal supplement, Soylent? Why would you do that? And like, during Pippa's, like, tasting stream, her dad came in. And I was like, oh, surely, surely her dad is gonna make a, a joke. And then and, and he didn't, and I'm like, oh, okay. I mean, to be fair, to be fair, her dad does not, from uh, her stories of childhood, he doesn't seem like the kind of, the kind of guy who would be like, uh, into like old movies or like obscure movies like sci-fi stuff or at least not enough to make the joke is it made from people though he did he did make the joke if two vegans get into a fight is it still called beef which very nice papakin is very uh, it's quite fun to be fair, my my stepdad ruined my sense of humor, possibly. I don't know. Okay, let's what is this Hestra Runestone. What is a Hestra Rune? Well that movie seems to be in the year twenty twenty two. What the no, yeah, hold on. Hold on, one moment. Let me let me and does silent Oh, shit. It does take place in the year 2022. Okay. <laughs> but it's in uh, 1973. Wait. The year I was expelled from art school. Oh, shit. Hopefully, hopefully nothing bad happens from you being expelled from art school.
I'm um, sorry, that was that was a little too far. I'm sure everything. Well, sorry you you guys spelled from art school. To be fair, they probably it probably were didn't they couldn't couldn't recognize his talent. They couldn't recognize talent, probably. Also, most modern art schools are really shitty. Oh, my athletic skill increased. I should rest. And I know. Give me the Jinx Sword. The Jinx Sword. Bum, bum. By the way, Beelzebub, how how has your week been? How has your Friday been, actually? Oh, shoot, I insta-killed that wolf. I was expecting a weird result yesterday. Oh yeah, I think you, you mentioned that. You were expecting there was like some scientific reason for why you were um, a little odder than you uh, you your peers or what what have you whatever you want to call them but like there are some things that cannot be like the why i'm inhuman oh shit that reminds me of this this um this one um novel like uh why i hate mega man fan but i mean i mean it's not not it's not abnormal to dislike a certain fan base. I I'll, I've never played Mega Man, but I do like certain characters from Mega Man. Uh, that Tron lady has a very interesting, and pretty cool, pretty fun. To be fair, I only I played her in Marvel vs. Capcom Tree, Fate of the New World, or Fate of Two Worlds. I don't remember exactly what it was. What it was. Um, it's raining. Oh, I love rain. It's crit. <laughs> it's currently snowing. Very flurryish. Yeah. It's been very flurry -y. I've been waiting for this Solaris package from Hello. I see you are not the kind of person who wants to talk. You fight like a pregnant cow. How appropriate. You fight like a... Like a dairy farmer. I just came seeking shelter from the storm. Bench. Oh, 
supposed to be impressed? I'm just warming up, pathetic one. I did play some Mega Man games when I was younger. It's just the Latin American fandom is full of goody two shoes, ugly men check. Lol. Oh, okay. All right. So it's very up. Uh, they're pretty obnoxious. They're in Peru. Alright, let's see. I'm just taking shelter from the storm. From the storm that is approaching. These are crazy. I just came here to seek shelter from the storm. What do they do? They just try to kill me. Like a, some goddamn psychopaths. Try making some um oh, shit. Hmm. Hang on. Um okay. Oh shit! Uh, carrots have night eye. That's funny. Commanding touch tone. What does commanding do? Command creature up to level three. I assume it's like illusion, illusion magic. 
Oh, hey, I could, I can, um, nighttime. Uh, Where you are. <laughs> Fall before me, Brendan. Ha! You'll never take me down. Okay. Um. This ends here. Thank you, stupid shield. Light rare. Okay. Here it is. I know one of them had a You had a more acts of jolts. No, that wasn't it. Oh, one of you clearly had a a dwarf dwarven war act. Nicer. All right, we 
good uh, willpower and personality. It's one of those uh, runs. Well, there never really was anything interesting. Hello, Danny Crazy Lore. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. We are playing Oblivion, the other scrolls for Oblivion. Bum, bum, bum. I'm good. How are you? What about you? I am doing pretty well, all things considered. There is a dead marauder, which I only as can only assume is the um, a upgraded version of a bandit. Roxy in. Hmm. Is this your first time playing Oblivion? No, not really. I played Oblivion several times. Several times before. Mm -hmm. Iconic game. Mm hmm. Very. After this this playthrough I might stream more either Morrowind or Might and Magic 7. Morrowind is different where I have not played that before. I've only like recently started playing it off stream. Love Morrowind too. I have never played I I owned Morrowind for the Xbox but I never played it. I never played it. Uh, Morrowind was included in the uh, variety of video games that my dad gave us when he gave me gave me when he gave me his old Xbox, which I still have. Unfortunately, uh, part of like the some part of it is broken, so it cannot like physically turn off or something like that. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with the Morrowind is pretty good. I, I really love how like you have to figure out they don't like hold your hand and stuff. I have to figure out. I gotta pay attention and figure out where I'm supposed to go. On Morrowind it's both weird and attractive. I have mixed feelings but definitely good. It's definitely a no. No. Hello. I like how alien Morrowind looks. It's very just different looking. It's not your standard, stereotypical fantasy. Uh, Eastern or Europe, just regular European inspired fantasy game. That uh, I literally couldn't understand what I had to do in the game. I mean, no, no, no. When I first played Morrowind, it was more that I didn't understand that I had to do certain things in order to not die immediately. <laughs> I was like, I was about to say, oh yeah, same, but then I was like, no, actually, no, that, that's not it, to be honest. Mm -hmm. 
repair. Yeah, Marwyn, you got, and like Skyrim, or in, in Oblivion, you have just your standard houses and stone houses, wooden houses, dragons, and trolls, all that kind of that stuff. With Morrowind, you have like homes made of like sandstone that kind of are reminiscent of like Middle Eastern or. Uh, or East Asian like countries. No, not East Asian. Not East Asian, West Asian, like South Asian. I mean, um, Southeast Asian countries, or like homes and buildings made from the shells of giant insects. And I was a kid staring at the yub guy, wondering what that interaction was about. Oh yeah. I got, I, I guess I understand. I mean, to be fair, as a kid, I did not understand. Uh, I guess, um, uh, maybe as a kid with World of Warcraft. Because, um, I started playing the Elder Scrolls when I was, like, a little older, but I was very much a kid when I was, I first played World of Warcraft, and I, I, did not understand why we were fighting, why the Horde and the Alliance were fighting, why um, as an undead I was having to kill other undead, even though it literally, there's literally a narrative saying, uh, explaining why you're doing, why everything is the thing. I did have some, like, confusion about, like, oh wait, no wait, no wait, I, I had the same, similar, something similar with, um, uh, Fallout New Vegas, I guess? Didn't really, no, like, even then I had some context to understand at least what was happening. I think with Skyrim, I just, I did not understand, like, what, why, uh, the, um, why Talos being outlawed was such a big deal. Be strong for war. Oh, Fallout. Really beautiful, too. Mm -hmm. My first uh, Fallout game was Fallout New Vegas, then Fallout 3, then Fallout 2, and then 1. Then Fallout 4 happened, and I was like, eh. Then Fallout 76 happened, and I was like, oh, oh, okay, okay, um, I don't think Bethesda understands it, what its own what what it got it bought. As um, when Fallout Four was released, I was like, "Oh, uh, Bethesda will like take a lot of notes from New Vegas and learn." Fallout. I uh, I only played Fallout seventy six because of oh. That is a minotaur. Those are- that is three minotaurs. Oh wait, this is the unicorn scroll. Good. Yep, that- this is the unicorn scroll. Arcane Grove, okay. sleep now, but I will leave a follow. I want to see you play a, a Oblivion. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hello. Mm 
<laughs> but thank you for the follow, by the way. Thank you, Shin. Very much appreciated. Hope to see you next week, next Friday, when I play Oblivion Finn. It's like uh, every Friday. I will go to sleep. Learn how to learn. I assume they got really pissed off when I killed their, their brother. Minotaur of the Grove. Okay. Uh, oh, hang on. Uh, he's a bird. There we go. Another way shrine of Talos. Seek greater fame to be judged worthy. Oh, okay. Oh, hey, there's a. There's a. Oh, hello. Oblivion Gate nearby. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, uh, in like a digital designer, I actually made a, an Oblivion Gate. I was pretty, pretty um, proud of myself when I when I made that. It's Oblivion Gate had some Daedra. Oh yes. You can't be too careful out in the wilderness. I'm listening. 
That will get you some. Let's do business. Blood Moon. Shaman's Mantle. Let's get to training. <laughs> Back to crack back across Craig's fire. Okay. I think I'll, I'll, um, uh, put the Go. 
go through this gate of oblivion? And then... Oh, hello. Oh my god, is this the... Okay, it's just the anguish cave, okay. Hey. Rinse and repeat. Burden of secrecy. All of eternal twilight. Oh, please don't. That that those films are pretty cringy. And it took uh, what's his face so long to just. Have people not associated with, with that character. Oh, oh cool. Okay, never mind. Okay, never mind. Blunt skill increased. Drain agility. The punishment. Um, one sword. It's, I think, iron. It's an iron long sword. Or maybe steel. I don't know. Rinse and repeat. Citadel North. I've got to go. Great stream again. Have a good night. Okay. Have a good night to you too. Like I said, I'm probably gonna just complete this, um, this. Um, on uh, Oblivion Gate. The wastes of Oblivion. Dude, I forgot. Okay, so it's this. It is this one. All of shame.
Okay. Yeah, that levels up again. Probably have to do, should uh, use pick up equipment that prevents us from leveling up so much. So. This is not... Is that that one? Very annoying. But hey, at least I'm not, I'm doing this on my own volition rather than. So, a stupid... Uh, Count will agree to help Bruma. of shame.
Um, okay, Oblivion just crashed. Well, I guess we'll take that as, um, uh, as a sign that we should end the stream. <laughs> no, that was fine. We auto saved. <laughs> Uh, again. It's completely all right. Um, let's see. I doubt people are. There's people that I would be able to. Yeah, no. I should really unfollow those people. Um, oh yeah. Well, uh, well, I guess that'll be it for this stream. I'm probably gonna add some more, uh, some of those sound alert, uh, things. Um. So that I, when like a new follower like, joins, there'll be a fun little uh, notification and GIF, maybe or GIF, sorry, rather than the typical Streamlabs OBS Zombleman. I finished drawing the Thundercats logo on home. Oh, well that's cool. It's a pain in the ass. Oh, oh, well, at least you managed to do it. That's a good thing. I hate the original Thundercut, so boring. I only remember that I saw the original Thundercats when I was a child. That is the only thing I remember of them. That's all I remember. <laughs> Okay. Well. Oh yeah, I'm probably gonna do some stuff for uh, sound alerts. Make it so that when people follow or subscribe, they get a little sound alert and stuff. Probably gonna have to figure out which sounds to to use and which uh, gifts to use as well. But I'm pretty sure whatever I figure out will be very... Everyone will enjoy it. Or most folks will enjoy it. I should say. It's not everyone's going to enjoy everything. There's some folks who are going to argue, Hey, that, that is... Why did you do that? Anyway. Uh, oh, yeah, and I'm probably going to do some other things. Uh... But yeah, hope everyone had a wonderful, wonderful time. I sure had fun. I'll see y'all tomorrow for Deus Ex. Until then, bye. Once again, thank you, Danny Crazy Lore, for her flair of the follow. I know you're not here, but just want to immortalize it. I'm Kishin. Also, thank you, Ramrod the Destroyer, who followed yesterday. I'm Kishin. Bye. Bye bye. We don't say bye. Have a good uh, rest of your day.